Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my Chanel Gabrielle bag and I recently got this bag. If you haven't watched my unboxing, I will link it up here and in the description box below. That unboxing was really, really unexpected. I came back from shopping and I got the bag and it was like, you know, really spontaneous. So the lighting was bad, there was a picture, you know, a, a scene of the toilet and all that. It was just like, not prepared, but you know, natural, right? So if you haven't watched it, check it out. And since I got this bag and today's Saturday, tomorrow I'm actually going off to London. So I've been using it every day since uh, last Wednesday. And I really, really like this bag. There are some things that I noticed about this bag, so I want to share that with you because I know some of you are thinking about getting this bag. But I also want to do a comparison of this bag with my Chanel Jumbo. And I'm really lucky to own both of these bags. And I know some of you are thinking, well, should I get the Chanel Jumbo instead of the Gabrielle bag? Or even if you have the Chanel Jumbo, should I get the Gabrielle bag? Are they too similar, maybe in size, maybe in the feel? And just right now, I can tell you that they both give me different vibes. This is like a very formal bag and I feel like this is a very modern, rugged take on this kind of style. And I, really, I believe it's because of the chain and the way you can style the bag. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in this video. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I normally talk about luxury items. I talk a little bit about makeup and I do monthly videos, uh, monthly favorites and you know, all kinds of little weird stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. And for the rest of my subscribers, welcome back and let's get started. First, I need to address my eyebrows. I don't normally get them on fleek. Like this, this is not natural. But if you watch my vlog on Tuesday, you would know that I actually had an eyebrow embroidery over the weekend and it takes about two weeks uh, for it to fade off. So this is actually about a week old and it's still like dark. So they look a little bit like bah. <laughs> but I promise you they will fade off and then I will have natural looking eyebrows. So now, now I just look like I'm surprised. <laughs> it's a little bit strange but if I don't do this video, I won't get a video up. Uh, for the next couple of weeks because I'm traveling so I'm just gonna do it and just gotta bear with me with this kind of eyebrows in your face. <laughs> Let me just quickly tell you about the bag that I have. Mine is the uh, Chanel Gabrielle bag in the size medium with beige and black. It comes with uh, three kinds of colored hardware. So it's got the silver hardware, it's got the ruthenium hardware and then it's got the gold hardware. The gold hardware is actually a kind of like a fade off. So it's, it starts off as gold. So right here, it starts off as gold all the way and then around, kind of like almost to the middle, it fades off to silver. So it's like a combination on the chain. Then the rest of the hardware, uh, let me see what else they have. Oh, they also have on the um, zip here, this CC is actually this vintage gold hardware, kind of like the um, boy bag that I have, this kind of vintage, more matte gold, which is very interesting as well. Then the zipper pull right here, this is also ruthenium hardware. Then after that, on the zip right here, it's silver. So they did a play on all the hardwares, they just placed it everywhere and that's really, really nice because it gives that little bit of difference to the bag. As for the leather, it is in H calf skin. The base at the bottom here, which you can hear, I think it's, I, I probably, I can't find the information, but I think it's cardboard, but really thick cardboard. And that's, you know, and then if they've layered it with uh, H calf skin as well, but it's more smooth as compared to the uh, overall bag. On the inside, it's lined with that, um, it's not so, it's not like a satiny uh, linen, but it's kind of, it's very, very similar to the boy bag. So it's that, you know, cloth material and it's in this really right, like more of a lipstick red color. I love it. I think I mentioned in my previous videos that I have come to appreciate lining that is made of cloth or even linen or even microfiber lining because I have my Chanel Jumbo bag which is lined fully with leather and definitely it's more you would and I would feel that yeah it's more valuable it's more worth the money but practically linen is the best because you don't have to worry about the leather getting scratched and this can be taken care of, you know, just give it a wipe. You know, you don't have to worry about keys or anything sharp, the corner of your wallet, scratching the leather. So I know they would feel, and I know I've got comments about, you know, uh, it's not worth the price because it's lined with linen or lined with cloth, but practically, this is much better. So anyway, that's my personal opinion. So it's got, um, 
two pockets where you can slip things inside. It's quite a deep pocket. And then there's got a little lipstick compartment. I don't usually use this lipstick compartment, but for this bag, actually, I could use it. Now, it's a little bit too deep. Um, Lips glosses would be better for it because when I put my lipstick inside, it just went all the way down So it was a little bit hard to dig it out at the side here There is a zipper compartment right now. I'm not using it. I still have my authenticity card inside I tend to carry my authenticity authenticity card everywhere. I I don't know why I'm so afraid if I put it in the box I'll lose it. So it's always with me. Okay, and then what else inside? There is also this uh, key ring holder, which, you know, if you've got a lot of things and you just have like one or two keys, this is very helpful for, um, you know, to put things. And for me, when I travel, I like to carry a smaller wallet where I can hook onto this key ring. And that's like my safety wallet, you know, if somebody were to pick my bag and they were to take out my main wallet, at least they can't pull out this other wallet that's attached to this key ring that has maybe my card, some cash and all. That's like my safety safety net. You know, when I travel, I'm quite paranoid that somebody's gonna take my things. So I always have little compartments stored to put money aside. So anyway, that's, that's, that's something extra. Yeah, so other than that, on the outside, there's nothing much. As for the straps, it's actually two chains, quite thin, definitely not as thick as the jumbo, with the leather piece up here, and then it goes around, and then it hoops through the two uh, larger D-rings on top of the bag. So when you actually double up the chain, it becomes like four chains with the leather pull and two chains up here. And I quite like it. I think that's a very, you know, the amount of hardware on it, it's so, it looks so different. It looks so, so much, you know, I don't know how to explain that. And I put the two bags side by side. They look pretty similar in size, except that the Chanel Gabrielle bag looks a little bit taller. But in terms of size, the Chanel Jumbo is 30 centimeters or 12 inches in length, whereas the Chanel Gabrielle bag is 28 centimeters or 11 inches. I'm looking at that from the base. If you measure it from the top of the Chanel Gabrielle bag, it is actually about the same length. So 30 centimeters on the top. In terms of height, the Chanel Jumbo is 20 centimeters or 8 inches, whereas the Chanel Gabrielle bag is 21 centimeters or 8.5 five inches. However, when I look at this bag and I look until let's say from the bottom base up to the top where you know the, the bag just kind of finishes, I don't include the flap. It's only 6.5 inches or let's see how much is that or 17 centimeters. So actually even though if you just measure from the top of the flap all the way down, it is a, about the same height but in terms of the real bag capacity, it's only until about here, which is 6.5 uh, inches. In terms of width of the bag, my jumbo is 9 centimeters or 3.5 inches, whereas the Chanel Gabrielle bag is 10 centimeters or 4 inches. When I did the measurement, I just took like the base of the bag, but actually when I really look at it, I think in terms of the width, they're probably about the same because you can't really expand the base that much. So even though from the side, you're like, oh, it's quite big. But in reality, it's not that big. So I would say they are pretty much the same in terms of the width. Let's talk about the weight of these bags. Chanel Jumbo is still the heavier bag. It is almost 1.2 kilos, whereas this is 930 grams. So it's definitely much more substantial with this bag. And I think it's because it's fully leather and the chains are also thicker. It is a heavier bag, so this is definitely lighter. Mm, yeah, which is, which is a plus point, right? Now, now, in terms of the chain length, when I double up the chain for my Chanel Jumbo, this is from the top of the chain uh, to the top of the bag is 33 centimeters, whereas this bag, the Gabby bag, it is 43 centimeters. So definitely 10 centimeters longer. So when you wear it on the shoulders, it does fall um, a little bit lower. Now I'm going to put some modeling shots and you can see the comparison. When I carry double up chain, you can see that the Chanel Jumbo bag you know, falls higher on my body as compared to the Chanel Gabby bag because that bag, when you put your elbow on top of the bag, it feels just nice, just nice. Like there is a 90 degree angle at your elbow, whereas on the Chanel Jumbo bag, you gotta kind of like lift your elbow up a little bit. You gotta bend your elbow up to you know rest your elbow on top of the bag. Now, when I lengthen the strap for my Chanel Jumbo, it is 59 centimeters, or 23 inches. So that's pretty long. If you're going to wear it like a shoulder bag, you got to be pretty tall. But 
the Gabby bag. Now that is crazy long. When I let me pick it up. When I lengthen it, you can't even see it on the camera, right? From the top to the bottom to the top of the bag, it is 70 centimeters. So that's crazy long. And you know, I, like I said, take a look at the morning shots. It is crazy. It's like up to my knees and you know you gotta be like a supermodel to wear it it is crazy long like up to the knees even when i wear it as a crossbody for either of the bags as the crossbody you know the chanel jumbo bag does feel bulky but it doesn't feel like super long this bag on the gabby bag it feels ridiculous so definitely not that kind of style that i would go for not a crossbody bag or you know even not as a long shoulder strap bag Personally, I only wear this bag in one way right now. I only wear it when I double up the chain and wear it under my shoulder. And I like this look because I like the way it falls very nicely uh, at my elbow. And even though it's a little bit longer, the way it how my elbow and my hand can rest on top of the bag and kind of like hold on to the chain, I like that. I feel it's very, very comfortable. But obviously, the unique bit for this bag which you know Chanel is promoting is the way you split the bag and you can wear it like this uh, I don't know what you call like a V so it's quite cool I guess I won't wear that kind of style to work but I like it it looks very rugged it looks very unique you know very different and I think that's why the chain is so long so it allows you to wear it towards the front towards the back now I think this is a very rugged very unisex kind of style and it's very really smart of Chanel because they've made this bag a unisex uh, bag the size large obviously is meant for guys or even ladies could wear it but it's really really big I've seen it it's like like really big so even this when I first tried it on I wasn't really into it because I thought that looked a little bit too big and too similar to my uh, Chanel uh, jumbo bag but now that I've got it I can appreciate the different style and vibe I get out of it. So let me just quickly tell you what else I like about this bag. I like the fact that it's got a lot, a lot of capacity. So I, like I said, I want to use this bag for work. That's why I picked this bag for uh, in the size medium because I saw the small and I found it a little bit too small. So when I saw the medium, I was like, mm, it is a bit boxy, it is a bit uh, big, but I could appreciate how much space it could fit. So I'm gonna flip the camera into another scene and you can see how much I have uh, put into this bag and I'm gonna show you how much if I were to transfer it into my jumbo bag you know there's a difference in terms of amount. I'm gonna show you what I've got inside my bag and it's really full right now because I'm gonna be traveling with this bag and I've got lots of stuff. I'm quite surprised of how much I can fit inside. So as you can see, I've really filled it up to the brim. I probably could put a little bit more things on the top. It's just that it's really hard to find stuff. Okay, so let me show you. I've got, okay, at the side here, I've got my Chanel uh, sunglasses. So I've just put it in <clears throat> uh, vertically. So I've got that. I've got my, uh, what is it, my Singapore wallet. And then right at the bottom, so you can see it's very deep. I've got a rechargeable battery, which I should tie this up with the wire. I've got a tissue, uh, my house keys, my passport. I've also got my agenda with me. At the bottom, I've got another wallet. This is my Malaysia wallet. Uh, I've got a loose, this is my IT Cosmetic Lip Balm, which I quite like. Okay, there's nothing else at the bottom. I could have put some keys here to make it easier to find, but you know, I didn't use it. At the side pockets, I've just got a um, recycling bag, so that's for stuff that I need to carry. I've also got, oh, my current... <laughs> oh, it's really hard. This, this particular lipstick pocket is quite deep, so it's, I think it's better for lip gloss, but I've got this little lipstick stuck. Stuck. Ah, okay, there you go. So this lipstick, I uh, showed it in my favourites. It's got little dinosaurs on it, it's super cute. Yeah, I didn't use the other uh, pocket. So yeah, that's it. That's all I've got inside. But that's quite a bit because a lot of the things are bulky. Like for example, this is also really bulky. But it fits um, perfectly vertically uh, down. And it's, it's quite a bulky sunglasses. So now I'm going to put everything into the jumbo bag and see if it fits. So I like the jumbo because when I open it, it's not too deep, it's only 7 inches. So you can like push it out and you can see everything inside. With the Chanel Gabrielle bag, it is a little bit deeper and because the opening is not so wide, it is quite hard to find for things at the bottom. So you do have to pack 
the back a little bit more strategic. But okay, let's see if I can fit all this. So um, that's the camera. Uh, sorry, that's the sunglasses case. And maybe my passport. I'll put it here. I've got one wallet. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Not much space left. Okay, let's see. Could probably stuff it a little bit. This. Mm, my tissue. Maybe I'll put that right at the bottom. Uh, this maybe here. Yeah, I don't really have. Yeah, okay. So I could just maybe just put the lipsticks randomly at the top like that. So uh, I don't. Actually, this takes up a lot of space. Once I've got that in, I could probably. Yeah, I could probably put it as well. Let's see if I want unwind it. Yeah, so this definitely could not go in and that's about it a little bit more at the top and I do have to pack it quite properly and then when I close it oh it's a bit too tight I uh, I can't do it it's and it's because of um it's because of this fellow let me turn it a little bit let's see oh okay yeah but it is uh, quite bulkier on this side I can feel the stretch this side is okay this side is like Mm, you can't see it actually, not, not too bad, but I can feel that it's part, it's quite bulkier on this side compared to this side. So um, definitely the Chanel Gabriel bag can fit a lot more. In fact, when I, the way I put it, I was just stuffing it in. If I packed it more strategic, I would have a lot more space towards the top. And actually this bag is, I feel like if you need to carry more things, like bulky things like this, the sunglasses, even more like bigger, like a, let's say like a full notebook, definitely the Chanel Gabriel bag uh, gives that gives you that flexibility, especially in the size medium. So as you saw, you know, there's so much stuff that I put into this bag. Right now, obviously, it's empty and I could put most of the things except my agenda into my jumbo bag. However, as you saw, you know, I just literally just stuffed it in. I didn't arrange it, but for my jumbo, I did have to do a little bit of arrangement uh, to make sure I could fit the same kind of stuff. The plus thing is that because this bag is slightly lighter, even though I had a lot of things inside, and the way that the chain is, you know, kind of like spread out, it didn't feel super heavy. So I, you know, I can appreciate why uh, this bag has become quite popular with people who need to carry a lot of things. The Chanel Jumbo, when you carry a lot of things, my gosh, it weighs a ton. It's like, ugh, it's really, really heavy. So that is the pro and con between the two of them. Now the other thing that I noticed about this bag, and I really like it, is that when I double up the chain, so there are four chains right here, and I put it on my shoulder, I, I realized that the chains don't easily uh, fall off my shoulders. Like they, they kind of stay put. I'm not sure if it's because of the thinner chains, or whether it's because there are four chains so it's more steady. I, I really don't know. but. In my vlog, I also mentioned it. I was like, oh, I, I realized I was walking like a maniac. You know, I'm not the kind of person that walks like, you know, my shoulders don't move. I, I walk like I'm marching, I'm gonna run, my hands are swinging everywhere. And you know that, you know, I'm really, really expressive. So I found that the chains like kind of stayed on my shoulder. I don't have like, you know, this kind of straight shoulders. I have slightly, you know, they're more, you know, slanted down. So like my Chanel Jumbo, I've always got to do this, you know, lift it up, lift it up. Because one chain, because it's the thicker chain, will fall off and the bag will start to move. So I always have to kind of like do a little bit of adjustment. But with this bag, I hardly did it. I'm not saying I don't do it, but I hardly had to go like push it up, push it up, push it up again. I'm not really sure if it's because of the four chains or is it because of the thinner chains or you know even if I'm not resting on the leather strap just here I really really don't know why and if any of you <laughs> have the Gabrielle bag and you also uh, notice this let me know because I found that such such a plus point like I was like hey it's hanging on my shoulders and I don't know it is really really good it's really different so I like that. I like it because people like me who are so like oh, running everywhere, you know, it's really irritating to adjust the chains. Now I want to talk about this material and I have a kind of love-hate relationship on it. I can appreciate the convenience of it. Like this kind of um, crumpled aged cow skin. When I first saw it, I really didn't like it. Like on the Chanel 225, 255, I don't like it, the reissue bag. Because I, I don't know, I feel like it's so old and so aged, right? It's aged cow skin. But I 
can really appreciate it also as well because it makes for um, like if the bag gets even more crumpled it's okay it doesn't it doesn't how do you say it? you know people like me sometimes I can be a monster with my bags well, especially when it comes to uh, lambskin, smooth lambskin. Like, you know, I sold my Chanel Trendy bag because I was so obsessive over that bag. I was so worried with the tiniest scratch, the tiniest dent. So when I saw this and I was like, hmm, can't really see the scratches, huh, huh? You can't really see the dents, huh? I was like, yes, that is the bag for me because you can't see it. But, you know, I've only had this bag for a really short time. I don't know how it will be like over time. Would it be even more like totally like crumpled paper? I do think in this past week, um, the top bit here has become a little bit more scrunched up. And I'm going to tell you why. Why? And if you get this bag, be careful of this because I notice it and it's something that I have to remind myself not to do. So I'll talk about it in a short while. But yeah, in terms of the leather, it is something you got to get used to because you gotta, if you're really like um, anal about scratches and all, and you're like, oh, I can't stand this look, then this is not the bag for you because you would prefer that smoothness. But if you're like me, who, you know, sometimes get a little dead, you're like, that's it, the bag's gone, Th that's it. Throw the bag away, it's dead, it's doomed! But, um, yeah, with this, like, a little more scratches here, or like a little more creases, you're like, oh, okay, you, in fact, you don't even notice it, so that's such a plus point. Now, instead of raving about this bag anymore, I'm going to move into the things that I noticed about this bag and maybe for you to also take note. I guess that's more relevant and more important for you all to know as well. So, for me, I like to carry, like I said, I like to carry the bag with uh, the straps. However, I did notice I tend to do this with the bag. When I put it, let's say, on my car seat or on the table, I tend to grab the bag like this. And I also noticed it when I did it with my uh, Chanel Jumbo. Let me pick it up tend to pick up the bag like that and this bag is five years old right but you can hardly see uh, the wear and tear on this bag if you if I showed it to you you'd be like when do you get this bag the only thing you could see like a little bit scratches here but really really this bag is in freaking good condition it's been through hell and back but I did tend to pick up the bag like that and if you were to feel the bag here it's a little bit less puffy as compared to let's say like the bottom here and that's because you have a habit I had a habit of picking up the bag like that so I have to kind of remind myself don't do that pick up the bag from the base right now for this bag I'm doing the same thing I'm picking up the bag like this and you know even in the videos they're like oh you know holding the bag like that and you you kind of like oh yeah that's a nice way to hold the bag because it looks nice right but because it comes with this crumpled um leather it gets even more crumpled it's like a little bit more crumpled here so this kind of motion of squishing the bag like that is really bad for the bag so I have to stop doing it and I have to remind myself don't pick up the bag like that pick it up here which is harder or pick it up from the base don't pick up the bag from the middle and yeah if you have this bag don't do it because maybe on the black or other darker colors you can't see but on my light color you can really see the, the creases here so I have to be more mindful not to do that the other thing I notice about this bag is that um, to make this part worse or to make it more crumpled, you know, is that it's very similar like to the Lady Dior that it has this kind of like um, fully closed zip. So when you open it, it's like this, right? It's not as tight and hard to get in. Because you got to open it like this, what happens to the leather around here is that it has crumpled even more. So it is more like, you know, pressed like this out. So this part... I can tell that, you know, I've only had this bag for a week and a half. I can imagine if you really, really keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, this part right here gets a lot, a lot of wear. And yeah, you can't help it. You know, you can't be like this. You've got to open the bag, which is fair. You know, you have to use the bag. But yeah, there's no way to reduce that kind of wear. You know, just maybe, I guess, don't press the bag so much. When you open it, don't like rah, open it. Just slowly open it. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's how I feel. Now, just for the base of the bag, you know, I have been careful, you know, um, when I'm walking around, I don't go like banging the bag. So far, I have knocked it a couple of times, but there isn't any scratches that is like, you know, scratch. But, um, you know, I'll let you know in a few months, but I have been pretty careful with it. I haven't uh, done any bad things to the base. It is quite a, a hardy base, you know, you can hear that. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I don't really have anything to say about the base at the moment, just mainly on the leather. The other thing about this bag is, like I said, it's quite a deep bag. 
so I had a question uh, if I was going to use a bag organizer as you saw in my you know when I took out my stuff I don't use a bag organizer I do think this bag doesn't need a bag organizer if you pack it strategically or you pack like you know you gotta have a layering kind of mentality with this bag very similar to my uh, LV uh, Bosper backpack where it's a very deep backpack so you have to layer the things you know like what do you need to take out very often put it right at the top things that you don't need to take out all the time maybe like chargers or maybe like you know your passport you don't need to take it only once put it at the base of the bag where it's right at the bottom because the good thing is it's a red color it's not a black color kind of lining red so you can kind of see it but if you got a lot of things like when i had a lot of things in this bag just now if i wanted to grab something inside it's got to be like digging digging you know like stirring the pot and it's not the most flexible right at the base, right? This is quite hard. You don't want to be pulling the base. So, you know, just have to be mindful um, of how you pack it. For me, I don't find that as a problem. It's just that, you know, when you're rushing or when I'm rushing, I tend to just stuff the things in. So there are a few days that I'm like, where the heck is that keychain? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, with bigger bags, yeah, that, that's the kind of problem you have with bigger bags. Even totes, I'm like stirring the tote, like, oh, where the heck is it? So it is also like a character, like an individual. I can be quite messy and when I rush, it's worse. But when I'm like, you know, at home, I'm like, oh, I need to bring this, I need to bring that. I pack it really nicely. But when you're out and about, <laughs> that's when the mess starts happening. So that's something to take note, you know, if you need to be very organized, use pouches, use little pouches. Don't, you know, just throw the things inside because it can be quite a deep hole at the base of the bag. Yeah, you know. Now, this thing I want to show is that this chain tends to tangle. Like, you see right now it's all tangled up here it's because let's say like when you pick it up maybe the middle chain kind of like hoops to the middle and then you've got this like real mess right here and you kind of got to adjust it like right now it's stuck so let me see so <laughs> real life okay so this is this happens to me quite often so I've got to like uh, put it back oh Okay, <laughs> so as you saw, I didn't have to explain anything. When it's uh, placed really nicely like that, right, long, but sometimes when you pick it up and you put it on the table and the way you pick up the chain, sometimes the chain kind of loops uh, among each other and as you go about your day, it will tend to bunch up around here <laughs> and after a while you get a little bit of knots. So, there were a few times when I had my charm stuck here, everything got knotted up. It's not a bad knot, it's not like those necklaces when you get knot, you just sit there and you know, unwind it, it's terrible. You take a little needle and pull it out. No, obviously it's not, but it does get a little bit like tangled right here. It can be a bit annoying, but you know, there, there's so many chains, so just be a little bit more gentle. But something to take note, you're like, wait a minute! Shh. <laughs> It has happened and it continues to happen and I think that's something that you have to live with if you got this bag. Now finally, this is something that I notice. I don't think it will happen with me often but when I have the strap at the longest length and if the bag is quite empty, um, this, tends to, this tends to happen. You know, it gets... Um, so, okay, I'll show you. See, this tends to happen to the bag when it's really long these two D rings get pulled, you see, as you can see, it's like a, the chains are getting pulled, this part is getting shorter, the back is getting squashed, oh cat, stop doing that. <laughs> so this happens mainly when the bag is empty. So like now it's empty, when I were to lift the bag and carry it, it kind of folds in either this side or the other side like this, like that. And it makes even more wear on the middle part, not, <laughs> you know, if it's not my hand pulling it, if it's not my hand opening the bag, it's the strap that's kind of like squishing the middle part a bit. It happens when um, my bag is semi-empty or if I decide to, you know, lengthen the strap. When it's um, double up, it's fine because the strap goes around the bag rather than across the bag where it will be pulled, right? This is absolutely fine. You see, it won't happen. But if it's like this and you got the strap in the middle like that, because you're gonna be pulling the bag like this, it will flip. It will flip in and it's really, really bad for the bag. So unless you're gonna carry the bag uh, crossbody or you know long and like if you can, I can't. So that I don't think that will happen if 
you know you don't but it's something to take note um, if you decide like oh I'm, you know if you're like seven foot tall <laughs> which I'm not I'm only five feet four and you say oh I love that style you know long all the way to my knees please be careful because that's gonna flip your bag and yeah it's gonna do a little bit more damage to the leather so those are my quick findings for this bag and I, I do know that I will use this bag more and give you more information about it. You know, like my usual cat star rating, I'll talk about the hardware, the material, um, you know, how was my customer service, which obviously is great. But I guess I want to quickly tell you uh, the few things that I noticed about the bag after using it for the past 10, 11 days. And I'm going to be using this bag when I go to London as my travel bag. So I would even have more uh, opinions of it but I think in this past 10 days I have a pretty good feel about the bag already if when I do my upcoming review about this bag I can tell you more about the wear and tear but even if this one we like I said the leather here just be careful if you're thinking about getting this bag this part is creasing the way I use the bag so ooh, cat, please be more careful I'll let you know if the base um, holds up even more because you know you've got lots of things inside whether it will sink but I doubt because it's quite a hard base what else I, I don't know I'll tell you more about the bag uh, in my upcoming review but right now if you're thinking about this bag I think it is very very unique so what I love about it is it's a unique bag and let me just be honest I hated this bag when I first saw it when I first saw this bag I hated it I was like what in the world what the heck is that bag it is like no no why would anybody carry the bag like that I was really really against it not to the extent I won't look at it I like the hobo style of it like I was like oh that's quite interesting but why is it so long why would they do the strap like that and I just I don't know I, I didn't really like it I was thinking like it's weird and you know, I was just oh no what, what is Chanel trying to do they're trying to create a new a new classic bag but obviously YouTube, Instagram, Snape HBP showing off her bag <laughs> and I'm like it's pretty good huh it's pretty good it's quite a nice bag yeah and then I started to look at it more and then I saw the unicorn you know the iridescent one and I was like oh, I quite like this bag I think I want it <laughs> terrible okay I'm so, I'm so, I have no discipline I am so weak but yeah the more I look at it the more it grows on you and the more I feel like yeah I yeah, I think that's kind of a good style for me and it is modern, uh, young and it is really, yeah, it's different. The chains make it look different. It's very unique. I'm not sure about the other colours that came out but I think um, these kind of classic colours like beige and black or white and black or blue and black or even black because the black has that really different chain. It is very, very classy as well. So it grows on you it's a bag that grows on you don't you know like me you know i'm totally honest i say like i hated it <laughs> it was like what? what are you doing chanel what is this what is this bag that falls to your knees but the more you look at it you're like okay i don't have to wear it like that i think this style I mean, double chain is nice yeah it grows on you and it really really grew on me it's different in my collection i don't have a bag that's like this it's it's really unique so you know if you've already collected several chanel bags you know chanel boy chanel classic chanel classic medium jumbo uh you've got all your rectangular minis actually they're all very similar they're flat bags they're that kind of style but this is different this is it's some it's a different take right and yeah I, yeah, I really like it. So despite all my little bit like, mm, watch this, watch that, it's more for me, myself, to take care of or take note of. But it's definitely something that uh, I, can, I can live with, right? I can live with. So yeah, if you have any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely get back to you. I will be going off to London tomorrow and oh, by the time I upload this video, hopefully I will get it up oh, within the week. <laughs> I, I need, I, did, I didn't do any like pre-filming so I, you know, I'm just gonna roll with it. So when I'm in London and I'm going to Valencia and then I will be going to Zurich, or is it Lucent or Interlac? I can't remember the places but it's a really, really like short trip just gonna literally go do a few things come back i will try my best to vlog some of the you know part of the trips like so like london i will vlog a little bit i'm only there for a day and a half i don't know two days maybe two two and a half days or a day and a half i can't remember. 
I have to look at my itinerary. Uh, and then, well, while I'm in Valencia, there's pretty much no time to vlog because I'm working. And then I will be off to Zurich and I've got a day and a half there. So I will vlog a little bit here and then hopefully get some videos up. Otherwise, the next time you see me, it will be uh, mid-November. So I'm really, really sorry, but I do hope you enjoyed a few videos that I've got prepared for you. Anyway, I will see you on my Instagram. I'll make sure to post uh, as many pictures as I can. I'm not really good at my Instagram. I try to be more, uh, you know, be more active on it. But I don't know. I it's really really difficult for me to post nice pictures. I can't. I can't do the whole like. I, can't, I, I have to make some funny face. I, I just, that's me, you know, I'm not used to it. So I will try my best to post some pictures uh, during my trip. So I'll see you on my Instagram. You guys take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.